Okay, this is 9.1, identifying similar polygons. The words, keyword here being similar. Okay, they have to be the same shape. They have to have the same angles. They don't necessarily have to be the same size. They just have to have the same ratio. Okay, so you're going to need a protractor, a ruler, and maybe some colored pencils to do some of this. Okay, so try these. Compare. Write equal to or not equal to to make a true statement. Well, 1.9 is equal to 190%. Well, the word percent means out of 100. So if I can put 100 underneath that, if I divide 190 divided by 100, I do get the answer of 1.9. So we can say that 1.9 is the same as 190%. The ratio, 4 over 12. Well, we simplify the fraction 4 over 12. What number goes equally into 4 and 12? The answer is uh, 3. So this becomes 1 third. Is 1 third the same as 1 quarter? No, it's not. Okay, it's larger, so that's not equal to. 3 fifths, is that the same as 0.3? Well, if we take our calculator and do 3 divided by 5, we get an answer of 0 0.6, not 0 0.3. So we can say this is not equal to that. And 100% is equal to 100. Well, like over here in question 1, 100% 100, 100 just means it's out of 100. So what's 100 divided by 100? That's equal to 1. Now is 1 equal, equal to 100? No, it is not. Okay, so there we go. Scale factor. We're going to be talking about scale factor. Okay, you've already heard that mentioned in some previous videos. Scale factor. It's the number that the dimensions of a polygon are multiplied by to calculate the corresponding dimensions of a similar polygon. So here we got two hexagons. Ella drew a regular hexagon on a computer. The word regular here means that all the lengths are the same. She enlarged it as a model for a stained glass shape. What scale factor did she use? In other words, how much bigger is this than this? We know they're exactly the same shape, exactly the same angles, exactly Everything's the same except that this one is bigger by a scale factor. So the only way we can do that to see how much bigger she made this one is we take your ruler and we're going to measure the angles and we're going to measure the lengths. Okay. Well, to find the scale factor, we don't really know have to measure the angles. We know the, the angles are all going to be the same. doesn't matter how, how long the sides are, the angles will still be the same. Okay. So you take your ruler and you measure this. So from here to here, I got a measurement of 10 millimeters, okay? And then when I measured this from here to here, I got a measurement of 35 millimeters. So I want to compare the lengths. I'm going to compare 35 to 10. Now this is a fraction, 35 for, for the big one, 10 for the small one. I want to simplify the fraction, okay? So how, what can I divide these by? Well, I can divide them by 10. If I divide the 35 uh, by 10, I get an answer of 3.5 or 3.5, okay? So what do you notice about the angles in the original and the enlargement? Well, the angles are the same. Okay, because there's, the angles don't change. They're the same shape, it's just that one is bigger than the other. So the angles are all the same. What happened to the side lengths when Alan enlarged the hexagon? Well, the side lengths, they got bigger, they increased. We can say they got bigger. The angles were the same, but the lengths got bigger. Now the question is, by how much? Well, Ella multiplied each side of her drawing by the same scale factor to make a similar polygon. What was the scale factor? Well, the whole number... She started out with 10. Her ratio was 3.5. Not so much she increased it by 3.5 to 1. Okay, those two dots mean to 1. And 3.5 to 1 is a percent. Well, it's out of 100. So she increased it by 350%. Because we just take that 3.5, we multiply it by 100. Okay, because that's what the word percent means out of 100, and that's 350. Okay? All right. A graphic artist created these shapes. Are they similar polygons? Okay, well, we know they're polygons, but how do we know if they're similar? Well, this is 60, this is 45. They don't have to be the same, 
but we just have to know if they've in, if this one when it's increased to this one is increased by the same scale factor for all the sides that means that JM has to increase the same as AD the same ratio as JK increased to AB and so on for all the sides okay so the solution so you measure the angles record the angle measures on the shapes using colors to show corresponding angles so you can go ahead and do that okay you can measure the angles with your protractor if all the angles are the same okay if the angles match up then they're corresponding okay so are the corresponding angles equal are all the angles equal if you take your protractor you'll find that the answer is yes they are all equal they're all the same okay so measure the corresponding sides to the nearest millimeter record the side lengths in the shape in the nearest chart below so we got a b is 60 j k is 45 okay measure b c and k l okay measure a d and j m and measure m l and measure d c okay so you can put that in this chart right here calculate the ratio that relates each side of the polygon ABCD to the corresponding side of the polygon JKLM so we've got 45 to 60 or 0.75 that means that this is set if this is 75 percent smaller than this one okay 75 percent so that is the ratio this one decreases by 75 percent okay so what side corresponds with BC the side that corresponds with BC is KL okay so K L okay and BC was measured to be 40 millimeters okay that's BC is 40 millimeters and so KL if it's going to be a ratio decreased by 0.75 it should measure 30 and 30 over 40 is equal to 0 0.75 as well okay so you do the same thing for these ones over here and you should get exactly the same ratio of 0.75 are all the ratios of the corresponding sides equal well when you do it yes they should be okay if the two polygons are similar then corresponding angles are equal and the ratios for the score corresponding sides are also equal the ratios have to be the same okay so this also must equal 0 0.75 and this also has to equal 0 0.75 okay so measure carefully when you're doing this is JKLM similar to ABCD the answer is yes it is similar by what scale factor did the artist multiply each side of ABC by to reduce it to JKLM so reduced it so he made it smaller 0 0.75 okay or 0 0.75 to 1 and the percent is he reduced it by 75 percent okay or 75 out of 100 or by he reduced it by three quarters okay so that means that this polygon is three quarters the size of this polygon right here okay it's 75 percent the size okay so that's all there is for 9.1 identifying similar polygons you just have to remember that the scale factors have to be the same they don't have to be the same size but they have to have the same angles and they have to, all the sides have to be increased or decreased by the same ratio to get a similar polygon okay that's all there is for this one. You can go ahead and do the practice.